He-Man, Batman, Spider-Man. Three of my favourite heroes. And honestly, these are the kind of opening statements that create huge debates about who are the best heroes. And of course, one of those heroes that very rarely appears on a list is Pepsi Man. Now, don't worry if you're currently thinking, who the hell is Pepsi Man? Or what obscure game reference has Roy McCoy dug up now? Because you'd be forgiven for never having played it or even seen it in a shop because this one only came out in Japan. However, that didn't stop Pepsi Man from becoming a cult hit. In fact, I first heard of this game when I was living out in Brazil because apparently, even though it only released in Japan, thanks to the power of bootleg and pirated games, Pepsi Man made its way to Brazil and South America and became a cult hit. This game is affectionately what some people call an interactive advert for, well, there's no prizes for guessing what. And despite only ever coming out officially in Japan, it did very nearly make its way to the States. But that's now a case of what could have been. And now this game is a title that finds itself often resigned to those lists, the greatest games you've never played. Hello everybody, I'm Roy McCoy and welcome to my latest video, and this time the focus is firmly on a game called Pepsi Man. Before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button as it really does help this video to grow. And if you're feeling like having a chat about video games or superheroes, come and join me on Discord, the link is in the description. But now, without any further ado, let's talk about the history of Pepsi Man. So, let me take you on a trip through time and space back to the year 1999, a year in which Britney Spears was on the front of Rolling Stone, and everyone was having a massive panic about Y2K destroying all computers and making planes fall from the sky. Pepsi Man is a third person action game and was brought to us by the developer and publisher KID, or KID, who are famous for... Um, um, a bunch of titles that really only got released in Japan and... Uh, oh, G.I. Joe, that made its way to the NES. Some of you might remember that. Let me know if that rings a bell. And I should probably say Kid were a developer and publisher because they went defunct in 2006. So to give you a bit of a backstory, apparently Pepsi is the dominant cola and is a massive thing out in Japan. So much so that those advertising gurus out in the Pepsi office in Japan decided to make their own mascot to help promote the Pepsi brand. And therefore, they came up with Pepsi Man, a superhero who indeed, of course, like all great superheroes, has a backstory. Apparently a scientist and Pepsi employee, Shujinko Satoru, came into contact and accepted the power of Holy Pepsi. Wait a minute, let me say that again to give it a little bit more drama. Holy Pepsi! And at that moment, when Holy Pepsi came into his heart, he transformed into basically a human Pepsi can with no real facial features other than a really strange mouth. This character was created around the mid-1990s. His superpower is to effectively provide thirsty people with Pepsi just in the nick of time. Pepsi Man became so popular that he actually appeared in around a dozen of his own adverts in Japan and also made a guest appearance in the Japanese version of Fighting Vipers. What more you ask? Well, what superhero is complete without a sidekick and spin-off characters, which include Lemon Pepsi Man and Pepsi Woman? However, such was his popularity that Pepsi decided to create a video game that focused on Pepsi Man. As I've previously mentioned, this game was brought to us by the developer KID, and it was made on a extremely low budget. To continue with that low budget theme, Mike Butters, who is an actor and famous for He Died in Saw, a character called Paul, does that rings any bells? Anyway, in this game, he was drinking Pepsi in some low budget video scenes. Pepsi is... Uh... Excuse me. The game finally released on the PlayStation on the 4th of March 1999, and sadly, even though an American publisher tried to acquire the rights and publish it in the US, it remained a Japanese exclusive. So, what 
is Pepsi Man. Well, as I mentioned, it's a third person action game that's very similar to the app game Temple Run. You take control of Pepsi Man, and the reason I compare it to Temple Run is effectively your character keeps running, and it's your job to dodge obstacles, including motorbikes, logs, and a variety of other Pepsi branded obstacles. To get points, the player needs to collect, surprise, surprise, Pepsi cans. In fact, this game has a huge amount of advertising. Just look at the footage to see how much advertising, even the music of the game, had the words Pepsi Man written into it. Listen to this. The game takes place over four different stages, each of which are divided into smaller stages. The locations you visit include New York, Texas, San Francisco, and finally, Pepsi City. Even though the game was pretty simple, there were also some extra elements to it. You get to ride a skateboard, your head gets stuck in a steel bucket, which effectively inverts the controls, and there are checkpoints, which basically means if you get hit by too many things, you have to restart at the latest checkpoint. And there's even some kind of boss fight at the end of each level, as you are chased by a huge object. And of course, as I previously mentioned, at the end of each of those stages, you get a cutscene with Mike Butters who's usually drinking Pepsi and eating food. So how did this game release? Well, surprisingly, this game was released pretty positively. Now I've told you this became a cult hit, but even at the time of the release, people responded pretty favorably to it. A lot of people who reviewed this compared this to a simplistic form of Crash Bandicoot. And Famatsu went as far as to call it super simple and compared it to something like Paperboy. So pretty favorable reviews. And of course, later on, it got cult status. However, those initial sales apparently were pretty poor, which could be one reason that we never really saw it outside of Japan. Because when a game sells poorly, it doesn't tend to go anywhere. However, this one has a very interesting story, as it became a hugely popular pirated and bootleg game, and cropped up all over South America. As I mentioned in the introduction, while I was out in Brazil, this game has a huge cult status and has a fond place in many a gamer's heart. So now, Let's move on to that all-important question. Could we ever see another Pepsi Man? And I'm going to say, sadly, probably not. We are talking about a game that didn't sell well 21 years ago and only ever released in Japan. However, stranger things have happened in the gaming world, so maybe we could, but I'm very much of the mind that I can't really see it happening. Now, I do understand that some fans have remade it over the years and it looks spectacular, but an official game from Pepsi? I'm not so sure at this moment, but I would love to see it. It would be a delight to see Pepsi release this game. I Either on an app or as a free game on the PlayStation. And to be honest, I think it would still be hugely popular. But like I said, stranger things have happened, and there was something quite interesting to report on that happened in 2019. The Spanish Pepsi Facebook page included this image. Now, underneath that PS4 controller, you can quite clearly see a PS copy of Pepsi Man. And from what I understand of Spanish, you can see that there are plenty of people there asking about Pepsi Man and Pepsi Man 2. So if the Spanish Pepsi Facebook page posted this image, it is quite clearly in the minds, not only of the gamers, but of the company itself. Like I said, I would be very, very surprised if it came out on the PS5. However, maybe an app game or even a free to play game. And genuinely, I would love it. Let me know in the comments below if this game is new to you or it's a cult favorite of yours and it is something that you would like to see. Let's have a chat about it. And of course, don't forget to join me on Discord. But from me today, all it leaves me to say is thank you very much for watching. And this is Roy McCoy, out!